Welcome to the Audiophile Baristas weekly vlog number 56 where I talk about audio, coffee and other things that keep me busy. Today as you can see it is a rainy cloudy day and we have been having rain and a lot of wind for the last two weeks so that's getting very depressing so let's just dive into the vlog. Another thing that is depressing is the fact that this morning this morning I got an email from YouTube and this is about a content claim. Content claim means you have been using uh, music in your video that has been claimed, the rights has been claimed by somebody else. And if you have an advertisement on that video, the money will go to the one that makes the claim instead of you. Now it is their music, so I do understand that this is all uh, uh, happening. But here's the thing, this has come to me this morning, but as you can see there, this is about lockdown vlog number six. That's about two months ago. That's something that I do not really understand. So for two months this video was okay and now all of a sudden it gets a content claim. Now fortunately it is a claim done on a song by Dana Kurtz which is my favorite artist and I am a patron for her. So the money is going her way anyways. So that's okay uh, for me. But come on YouTube, this is almost two months ago. Be on time with this. So that's one other thing that is depressing. And there's one more thing that is depressing. And then we're going into the positive stuff. But here is a box that I have filled with a lot of cassettes. Now that in itself is not uh, depressing. There's some very nice cassettes in there. But the thing is, a lot of these I bought in one box a few months ago and actually I got scammed because these are not originals and that's not what the buyer uh, promised. So I got scammed and I put it all in this box and forget about it because, well, I got scammed. I don't like to get scammed. Um, yes, yeah, something like this Pink Floyd. So there was a lot of nice things in there. But if you look at the cassette itself, this, I believe, is not the original Pink Floyd. And if we look at this one, this Mac Magic 2, I am sure this is not the original cassette that Pink Floyd uh, played. So uh, last week, maybe this week, I saw this box again and I was going through it to see if there was anything in it. But one thing that is interesting is that these are not originals. But if I look at the J card, this thing looks like the real deal. The quality of the paper, the quality of the print is really, really high. So I was thinking, what can I do with that? Well, what I'm going to do is I am going to pick a better cassette and I am going to use this J card making it look legit but then what I will do and I made a little setup right here over here you see my wonderful CR2 cassette deck from Nakamichi I've showed it uh, before but this is what I'm going to use to redo those Pink Floyd tapes I'm going to put them on a better tape and what I was thinking, and that's why my cassette deck is right over here, apart from some of these CDs um, I do not, uh, I do not own, I do not have, but what I do have right over there is the Blue Sound Note 
2i. Now this is a streaming device. So what I did is have the analog output from the blue sound connect to my um, cassette deck. And now whenever I play, um, for example, MQA or high resolution from Deezer or Tidal, it will, I will be able to um, record it onto this tape, making as good a recording as I can inside a case that looks like the real thing and that will be the closest thing to having something uh, uh, original um, just because I have the, the, the possibility. So that's a project for the coming, uh, for the coming days and I'm curious how well you can record high resolution um, because now any CD that you would like to record you can actually record on cassettes by connecting these two together so of course I'm going to make a video of it and show you what it is also that reminds me of a, a few months ago I made a video about recording on my cassette deck but talking about uh, content claims this was a claim that completely blocked my video so I had a wonderful CD I played it through the blue sound I recorded it on the Nakamichi which worked perfect in the video I took the cassette from here downstairs to the DCC recorder playing it downstairs and it all sounded wonderful because that is a great CD and I'm not putting it in a CD review because they blocked my complete video. I don't know why. Do these people, you know, I'm, I'm actually advertising for them, for them having a wonderful um, uh, sound, a great recording, uh, great music as well, but as an audio file, of course, the recording quality is of importance. But I'm not going to share this with you because, well, apparently they do not want, they do not like to um, let people talk about their music. I don't know what it is. But anyways, this is a project that I am going to do. By the way, talking about uh, CD reviews, I have a little surprise at the end of this uh, vlog. So that's about the cassettes and those were the depressing things being scammed and being flagged by uh, YouTube. Now there's another uh, thing because one of the rooms in my house that I have not shown you is, and I'm not going to show you today still, is my office. Because it is a complete mess in my office. But one thing in my office, what I have is this little beauty. This is the FUBAR um, 4, a DAC headphone amp. And this is a sweet little device. It has a lot of inputs and it has served me well for many, many years. But one thing that is missing from this thing is loudspeaker outputs. This is not an amplifier for loudspeakers. And I do have a set of loudspeakers for my um, computer setup but, setup. but for the last few years I've only been using the headphone um, outputs that you can see here. So finally, after watching a few reviews on YouTube, I decided to go, this is cheap, but good. That is what the, the main, what the, the reviews are saying. So this is the SMSL AD1818. And this is a nice little amp. As you can see, it has a headphone uh, output, a little screen. But most importantly, if you look at the rear, over there you can see it has outputs for a uh, set of loudspeakers and that is what I'm going to use downstairs instead of the FUBAR that I have here. By the way, this is a nice cheap little 
headphone, DAC amp, you can see USB input, optical input, uh, coaxial input. Um, it has a high low gain for your uh, headphone. The only thing is, what is strange about this thing is there is the on off switch right over there. But normally, of course, you will have this thing used in this way. If you want to reach back here to turn it, where is it? Where did it go? Oh, sorry. Turn it on and off, you can. But the problem is, when there's a few of connections in place, for example, the USB, it is more or less impossible to get there with your finger because of all the cables are uh, obstructing it. So that's a strange little uh, design uh, feature. But anyways, I like this one, but it's going to be replaced by one that is having a uh, loudspeaker outputs. Okay, so two more things for this uh, vlog. There is um, of course the room tour series and last week I asked you guys well is there anybody who would like to also participate in this and one person said yes they have sent me some files and this is also going to be a very interesting uh, room tour probably out next Friday so a week from now and it's a completely different setup than the other videos that I've done until now. So make sure to keep tuned in and hit also the bell um, down below where you can also click the subscribe button. So you will know when this thing is coming. And another video, a series that I did a few times off and still I'm wanting to make more, which was the 3 CD Friday series well this week i bought and it is still over here right in the package i bought a cd box not for me but for my girlfriend so that is why because she is watching my all my videos so that's why i still have it in the box but this is actually a box with 11 cds in it and I will make a video of that. I will call it a three CD Friday, even though it's going to be one box, one artist and 11 discs, but that is coming, well, maybe next Friday or the Friday after that. Um, yeah, well, that is just about it. I am going to say goodbye, thank you. For watching this was number uh, weekly vlog number 56 today is a Friday you know I do not have a regular day that I make these videos a regular weekday because I will fit it in with the rest of my schedule so somewhere next week I will see you again thanks for watching and I'll see you next time